Well, now to the slithery surprise inside a man's car in Virginia Beach. Wildlife crews responded, and as you can see, they pulled this snake from under the driver's seat. It's a story you'll see only on 10. Deanna Betneshi is here with more. Deanna, oh, hard to look at. Well, that <laughs> snake that was pulled from that car is a red-tailed boa. It was about four feet long, but it was someone's pet that was actually left alone for just a short time and managed to get itself stuck way underneath a seat. When ZooPro wildlife technician JB Bean got the call to get a snake out of a car, he didn't expect the snake to be in the spot that it was. We thought he was talking about the AC vent as a whole, um, not an actual bar underneath the seat that's welded in that the snake couldn't get out of. Bean says a young man had recently purchased the snake as a pet and was about to go into a store to get a cage for it. It was wrapped around the headrest, which is fine once uh, somebody's in the vehicle with it, but it didn't want to come off the headrest when he went into a store, so he left it there. Bean says in the short period of time the young man was in the store, the snake made its way into a really tight spot. We took the seat out of the car and uh, it was a pretty big snake that was stuck in there, so it took about 15, 20 minutes to finally work him out. In the video, you could see Bean using a technique that almost looks as if he's tickling the snake. When I'm putting snakes away or I'm pulling them out, um, I give them an anchor. So you'll notice in the video how I pull it out, I try and put it on my shoulder or I'll give it my arm, and then you just kind of tickle the other side of it. It kind of irritates them a little bit and gets them kind of flowing out on their own. Luckily, the snake was okay, but Bean used the encounter to educate the snake's owner on how to treat the snake for any scratches it may have had and also how he should transport the snake in the future. When they're being transported, you just need to put them in a proper bin or a proper pillowcase or bag that's breathable um, and transport them that way instead of just freely in the car. That way they can't get stuck in these areas. Bean tells me they do get a handful of calls about snakes stuck in cars, but it's usually not where they found this one. They're usually in the engine compartment. Deanna Betaneshi, 10 on your side.